Hello viewers, welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to take a look at a tool called Pluto. Pluto is a very simple tool, but a very useful tool to identify whether you've been using any deprecated API versions of any of the Kubernetes resources. Okay, so let's start by searching for Pluto. It's Farbins Pluto. That's the GitHub link, Farbins Ops Pluto. So what it does is Pluto is a utility to help users find deprecated Kubernetes API versions in their code repositories and also in their Helm releases. All right, so how do we install Pluto? Let's go and check the documentation. Check out the documentation and we should have some steps to install Pluto. I'm clicking installation. It's not taking me anywhere. It might be something to do with my browser or I'm not sure. Okay, there's another installation link here. Okay, this time it actually works. I go back to Pluto, click installation. Yeah, it works fine. That's a weird thing. Anyways, right, install binary from our releases page or you can use uh, Homebrew if you're in Mac OS. Let's go to the releases page. The latest version is 5.10.2 as of recording this video, which is in July 2022, right? To me, it is going to be Linux AMD64, so let's copy that. cd to play directory, wget. Cool, that's downloaded. We have Pluto, let's untar it. And we have Pluto here, so I'm gonna move Pluto to user local bin and I'm going to delete everything else in my current directory just to tidy up. If I do which Pluto, there we go, Pluto version, Pluto, if you just type Pluto on its own or if you type Pluto dash dash help, you will be, you can see the help messages. Okay, so the thing that I'm interested in Pluto is to two commands detect and detect files all right so let's say you've got a huge list of kubernetes manifest let, let me actually download my kubernetes repository that will be a good example so i'm checking out from github my kubernetes repository i go to kubernetes uh, and the yamls directory that's where i store all my yamls directory sorry all my kubernetes manifest that i've been using in all my previous youtube videos all right, so here is the collection of all my Kubernetes manifest. Um, some of them are very old. Let's run Pluto here. So what I'm expecting to see here is Pluto to tell me that I'm using uh, a deprecated API version of some of the resources. Let's see what Pluto has to say. Okay, let's run Pluto help first. So let's first check out this detect command. So what we are going to be doing with this detect command is give it a file name and then ask Pluto to check whether we are using any of the deprecated API versions. So it's going to check a single file for deprecated API version. All right, so if I do ls here, let's check this one, cronjob.yml, I just picked uh, randomly. Copy that, Pluto detect and paste that file. So Pluto detect is for a single file. Okay, there we go. So it's showing me it's telling me that the name of the the resources hello world dash cron kind is a cron job the version that i'm actually using the api version of the cron job that i'm actually using is batch version one beta one the replacement has to be batch version one because it's been removed it's been deprecated sorry it's not been removed which means i can still use the same manifest in uh in the current kubernetes it hasn't been removed completely it's, it's still valid, it can be still used, but it's been deprecated. That's what it's trying to say. All right, let's do a cat of that file. And you can see the API version of cron job that I'm using is batch v1 beta 1. All right, so let's quickly deploy this kubectl create minus f. Okay, again, you can see that's the warning from the kubectl. It says that's been uh, deprecated since version 1.21 but it's still available unavailable in version 1.24 if i do kubectl get notes i'm running version kubernetes version 1.24 so this api version is still valid 
but it's been deprecated since 1.21 so when i move to kubernetes 1.25 it won't work i won't be able to deploy this cron job so that's what this pluto command has detected and it's telling me All right let's run that command one more time pluto detect so it shows us the name of the actual resource the kind of the resource that we are deploying and what we are actually using this in the manifest and what we should be using and whether it's removed no it's not been removed deprecated yes it's been deprecated so that's the idea so it's going to show us all the deprecated thing okay so that's just a single file if i run pluto on its own so there is this detect files so detect files is going to run on all the files in the current directory okay so i've got a huge number of files so i run pluto detect files and you can pass in the directory that you want to specify that you want to scan okay so i'm putting a dot which means it's going to scan the current directory which is optional even if you don't specify anything it's going to run uh, the detection on the current directory okay so let's run without a dot first okay so it has found in the list of files that i've got in the current directory it has found that i've been using a horizontal pod autoscaler a pod disruption budget and a cron job which we already saw cron job is uh, this one and for horizontal pod autoscaler we were using version 2 beta 1 that's been uh, deprecated so all these have been deprecated and but still i can use all these api versions because they haven't been removed in the version of Kubernetes that I'm actually running, which is 1.24. All right, so what I'm not actually sure is whether Pluto detect files recursively goes through all the directories. So it has actually done a, a scan of all these files in my current directory, but I'm not entirely sure whether it has recursed into these directories. So I've got so many directories, sub directories within this top level directory, uh, but Pluto help doesn't have any flag or option to say that I want to recursively scan all the directories underneath on all the sub directories. So I'm not actually sure, but what you can do is, let's say I want to check this GlusterFS provisioner directory so i can do pluto detect file pass in minus d option and do that so it says there were no resources found with known deprecated api versions that's fine and the other annoying thing for me which would be a feature request or i might not be reading the documentation right is let me run the same command again okay let's first do an ls so i've got a, a list of manifest i've got a list of manifests here I do Pluto detect files in the current directory. So it's showing me, okay, so the kind is horizontal pod autoscaler and the, the name is Nginx and the other details here. But how do I know which file it is? So I need to actually go in here and check for the actual file name. So my naming convention is I know, okay, so when it says cron job, hello world cron job. So I search here, I, uh, by looking at the the list of files here i can see so okay there's a cron job here so there's a high chance that it's referring to this one particularly i can take a look at that file and confirm that it's indeed referring to that file but if i don't know uh, if i haven't named all these files properly how would i know which manifest it's actually referring to so that's a problem okay so that's one thing I don't find in the documentation. I don't see any flag to specify. I would, I would expect uh, a, another column here saying file and the name of the actual file, okay? So that's about it. That's the only thing I noticed. And there's also different output format that you can use. Say for example, Pluto, this one here, that's the normal default standard output. And you can also pause minus O, JSON, if you want the JSON output, if you want to parse it further in programmatically in other scripts or something. And uh, um, if you want a nicer output, I've got JQ, which is a parser for JSON. And that gives you a good um, readable content of the JSON. All right, that's uh, pretty much about Pluto. It will be uh, helpful if you've got a whole load of old manifest that you want to clean up you can just scan your entire directory find which has been deprecated and go with the replacement option that it's suggesting all right so that's it for this video i will see you all in my next video until then keep learning and keep on learning bye bye